Hello, hello, beautiful simmers. Welcome to Hollis University. Welcome to Hollis. <laughs> I don't know if they have a British accent, but we'll go with that for now. Welcome to Hollis, the custom university that I have built. My first university that I have built in The Sims 2. So welcome to Hollis. You can see here we have some fountains. I promise I won't talk like that for the whole video. But this is a quick tour of the dormitory. This is Hollis Dormitories. Um, you can see right out front I have a sign and it says something like all student lockers and storage are susceptible to be searched okay so prohibited and illegal items will be seized by the headmaster <laughs> so i thought that was quite funny um i went for a kind of a european academia style when you walk into hollis we have this lion here and the lion is kind of like the hollis mascot or i don't know they're they're animal of of pride and then back here we have some trophies and i figured the students of hollis would have have won some sports challenges or something like that and they display them there on your left you actually have this huge spacious kitchen I do need to add some more sinks I think I think there needs to be more than one sink um, so that folks can wash their stuff but isn't it so cute it's neat and organized but it's also a space where the students can kind of just come and like play around with different recipes and cook some food and survive okay you gotta survive and then right on the left there's this kind of realistic recycling area that I put. There's calendars and posters and things and then areas where you can just recycle your boxes. I thought this was realistic and the reason why there's no seating in the kitchen is because there's actually an alternative place where your sims will go and sit. And then this far corner I have some posters, some, like a boiler machine, memorabilia, and that's actually a drink fountain. So those are just some nice realistic touches. And let's go across the yard, across the hall across the hall is a dining room look how beautiful are you kidding me the dining room is a little bit more maxis match than what i usually go for but stunning and then i put little condiments in the middle because like they're still young people and they still gotta slather that ketchup on there fun fact i don't like ketchup <laughs> so this beautiful stunning dining room is where all your university sims of hollis all of my sims rather will come here and eat their meals so that's why there is no kitchen um table or countertop table um, in the kitchen there this is beautiful and it's regal and i do have some art on the wall very beautiful very european you know very academia so that was the vibe i was going for with hollis and i absolutely love it then we go through these double doors and you get to the lounge the lounge is where all the sims come together and they can watch tv watch movies those bookcases in the back the bookshelves are decor but the actual books themselves are functional so your sims can read on them read with them via them um, and these are all our sims it's orientation day it's the first day of school so they're gathered together right behind the tv we do have some desks and this is where the sims will uh, be able to use their laptops and study and chat and socialize so this is it's the lounge you can do your homework here but you can also just like play some computer games or hang out there's a audio speaker thing there so you can just dance have fun i assume if they have parties back here this is where they're gonna do it honey so this is like a nice big decent lounge it's comfy it's cozy you can see those sort of like beanbaggish kind of chairs there i really really love them um and all the sims are just chatting away you know just getting to know each other doing what they do and I'm so excited to play them. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is <laughs> the drama already begins. She said, um, get off me. <laughs> so if you can see back here, I'm using these washroom doors as um, dormitory dividers. I use the woman's washroom door so that on the side of the building where the women's dorms are, no male sims can enter there because as of now, both men and women are living on this lot. Eventually, this dormitory will just be for woman and there'll be another one for the men's hall and i already have a name and a design for that but it's not enough sims to have separate living quarters so for now hollis is co-ed so you can see these are the dorms i didn't decorate them because i built so much i was so tired of building so those are the dorms on the woman's side and the door area is blocked by that washroom door so that's a little creative tip then we have this lovely washroom and the washroom is three 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 sinks three communal showers that they won't shoo you out of the room if you're showering because it's a communal shower comes with university and then three washroom stalls so three 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 and we have five lady sims living on this lot five young adult women so they'll have to come up with a good schedule for the washroom <laughs> but you can kind of see the layout there really nice and eventually we'll decorate the dorms for now i'm just i don't know and two to a room so 
the rooms are locked but the people that sleep in there have the key and i'm using that mod that allows you to set keys for the rooms then you can see back here i also have the other door this is the washroom gender door for males and that just divides the men dorms so um we only have four dudes so this room is empty so let's turn the light off um but yeah that's them and i didn't decorate the rooms i probably won't because eventually the next round of uni the men will have their own hall the dormitory hall and then they have a washroom just the same this is my sim she's one of my favorites her name is amy rin but we call her rin and she's just so spunky look at the animal print shirt look at the beanie look at the wedges okay don't talk to her rude because i'll uh, put some respect on her name she's wearing wedges with the funky glasses period so I did want to show you all that I'm using the 3 to 2 mod, uh, trait projects mod. The 3 to 2 allows you to use traits from Sims 3 that actually impact gameplay and you basically pop them into your Sims inventory and they become your Sims traits. So if you make your Sim a couch potato for example, or in this case here a workaholic, um, Rin, this is a, for Amy Rin, we call her Rin, she has a good sense of humor, she's childish and she's a workaholic. So a good sense of humor means anytime she does entertain make a joke or entertain inside joke, people will probably laugh, it'll go better because she has a good sense of humor. So all you gotta do is just pop the traits in the inventory and boom, your Sim now has those traits and it does affect gameplay character intros rin is a pleasure sim and her traits are childish workaholic and a good sense of humor y'all and she's feisty okay next we have ramona and if you remember ramona was actually a part of caliente coast uh, my rotational gameplay before that save file got corrupted because i got a new laptop but i did revive her and so we're going to be playing with her and she is childless marriedless there's no ghost haunting her she is a romance sim and she's a diva she's proper but she's a little bit unstable y'all so let's get into it her outfit's giving honey period Next, we have Tiana Williams. She is my influencer sim. She loves fashion. She loves all things creative. I kind of see her as like a fashion designer, like a wedding dress designer. She's really uppity, bougie, that girl. She's from San Alto, and we did decorate her apartment. If you've been around, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous, honey. Her traits are workaholic, yet again, party animal, and perfectionist, and it suits her. This sim is Athena LeBlanc, and her dad is actually a playable. I love him so much, but he's addicted to gambling. She is so cute. I love her. Caliente coast but i'm giving her another shot at life so here we are at uni she is cute and kind of that like cute quirky clumsy kind of girl one of her traits is indeed clumsy she's also a vehicle enthusiast because her and her dad used to work on cars all the time so she knows a little about that room for room okay and she's a natural born performer because one of her goals is actually to be an influencer she wants to be like a singer influencer kind of online presence so we love our bronze goddess athena yes Next, we have Andrew. If you all remember when I played uh, my active uh, doctor career with Evelyn Damson, this is Andrew Damson, her younger brother, who was mooching off of her and didn't have a job. And then he decided, you know what? Let me let me go back to uni. Let me let me go to school. So this is why he's at Hollis here, and I'm so excited because he's a romance sim and he's kind of messy. I love it. So his uh, trait is romance, and he is a couch potato. He does not like kids, but he loves to swim then you all this is our beloved and esteemed guest and not guest but sim rather this is danny if you all remember kukwa in the city this is danny kukwa's brother so we are going to be playing with the next generation in kukwa's family i'm so excited so danny is um kind of breaking out of his strict family and finding himself he is spunky he's creative he wants to do music he wants to do something kind of creative his parents want him to be a doctor so we're gonna see what path he takes but of course we're gonna also visit kukwan west maybe for harvest fest or something we'll visit them and get to see how their life is going so i'm so so excited you guys you guys know i love kukwa that's my girl honey so danny is a knowledge sim of course don't don't be fooled by his appearance okay he's got the chain on but he's smart okay and he's a workaholic no he's ambitious he has commitment issues y'all he's not like wes he has commitment issues but he loves the cold and i'm hoping that we see him fall in love and have kids but i don't know with those commitment issues honey i do not know mm -mm. Mm -mm. our next man of the hour is patrick st rue he's the ginger and he has an interesting backstory because he dabbled into substance abuse he used to be an addict and little easter egg his shirt says better version of myself because he's working on himself he's evolving he's changing and so i think he's probably going to be involved in like student clubs bettering himself and this like holistic approach to life but he's 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 our fave we love an evolved grown man okay he's a popularity sim and his traits are friendly disciplined and hates the outdoors finally we have dayton dayton sanders and caliente coast dayton was a farmer and 
now he's a student I, I did reverse time okay and I gave him another chance because he's one of my favorites and he's like really big and muscular but he's also like such a teddy bear he's so sweet he's a family sim he wants to fall in love he likes loving one sim he likes giving his all to one girl okay so I can't wait to play him. I can't wait to see who he falls in love with. But fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. You guys remember Ramona, right? Ramona is the one who is a single mom who is trying to figure out her life. I'm going to flash to her in a moment. There you go. In my Caliente Coast save, they started dating, y'all. They started, they started woohooing on the couch. And I was like, wow, this is a match. So let's see if they'll fall in love again or if that was a fluke. Um, I'm, I'm open, but we'll have to see what happens. So yeah, that's Dayton, and I think I said his traits already, right? Nurturing, animal lover, but he's a little hot-headed, a little bit. So now that I've introduced you to all the sims, let's go to comms, because everyone's starving to get some food and give you a tour. All right, all right, welcome to the student comms. This is just the student common area. I am so excited to give you a quick tour and rundown of the lot. I'm gonna press play so that the sims can show up and do their thing while I give you this amazing tour. Again, I did build this myself. I built all the lots, so get used to me saying that because <laughs> I did. So this is the student center. When you immediately come in from to the lot, you see that there's this nice area right here and this is where the Sims are going to uh, meet up for art classes, art group, and they can use the easels here to practice their painting. And I imagine that they're just painting this sculpture right here. So that's why I put this in the middle. Um, of course, we gotta have some, some areas for romance. So we call this the kissing tree. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just a space where your sims can sit and they can cuddle and you know romance each other and this is yeah this is just this cute backdrop with all these lovely trees and this is called the kissing tree okay perfect um i did create this lot in style of like a, a mini city because it's like a student campus so that's the campus this is student comms so it looks like cars are driving through um, and yeah, so you're gonna walk into the campus on this side you have the soccer field and I really love it I think it looks so good So you have the soccer field and then we have some seating up here where your sims can just kind of sit and maybe their bow play soccer or you know their bestie and they want to just attend to practice and support them they can just come up here and do that of course like i mentioned before hollis's uh figure or mascot or whatever is a lion or lioness so of course we have to rep okay look how good this looks i just moved the statue into the fountain it looks so good don't even talk to me it looks so good and i love how this bust up looks this is from around the sims too um and yes on this lot i did ban everyone who is not a young adult or who's an annoying npc like the unsavory charlton and i use the visitor uh controller to do that so anytime they spawn up in here you're gonna get blasted away all right, let's talk about this area right here. These are the kiosks that I built. Okay, look how cool these look. So this is where your students, Hollis students, are going to be able to buy their merch and memorabilia. So I put these functional uh, clothing racks here and they can literally buy like school t-shirts and like fun stuff like that. In my head, they're also gonna come out here and probably buy some books or like, you know, stuff to put around their dorm rooms, things like this. So this is the, um, kind of like stands student stands you know students bookstore outdoor situation i love it i think it looks like so good all right and yep the chess area here you cross the road right here and then you come to this building right here and this was actually inspired by a building i found on pinterest and i'll pop the picture in so you can actually see it i think i did a really good job getting it like on point like does this not look so good to you i think i did such a phenomenal job um so personally i'm very proud of how it turned out and i love it so much so let's actually enter and i'll do this in tab mode it looks like all the students are inside look at these pipes these are base game they add such a nice rustic touch okay so sorry i'm excited when you walk in you have this lovely food area right here why is her head back girl girl get your head in the game there we go <laughs> so you have this lovely food area right here let me get a good view so i designed this food area really uniquely in that here they can order coffee they can actually work as a barista that might be some fun gameplay they can buy coffee for someone or order a coffee for themselves and then 
we have this um what is this this is the food counter food stand by converted by jackie 93 sims and this is really cool because they could literally come here and buy food so they can have brownies hamburgers cake chicken burgers uh breakfast toast veggie burgers this is the high school cafeteria conversion i play tested this and a lot of the sims are hungry and they will just on and on autonomously come here and grab something to eat um yeah and their hunger is going down so i'm not even going to tell them to do it so long as autonomy is on yeah it is they will go ahead and order their own food which i love and then i just put in a bunch of seating look at this really cool window here like this is so beautiful you can just like see the whole city and you can see that the um dorms are just across the street so they just walked over here but there's also a bus if you live kind of far so i just put like you know a little deco or whatever you guys know me i love to build so this is like playing the game for me is building um so yeah this is the student area and i put these like nice rustic uh planter and things because it's a university but it's kind of uppity right the school's got money hollis is known for being a bit more prestige that's why um danny goes to hollis because his parents were like yeah we can we can mess with hollis um the students look so cool don't they look at dayton he looks so cute he's our little teddy bear even though he's a little hot-headed we forgive you <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the love connections because originally in the other safe file I was playing with Caliente Coast, um, Athena, I wanted Athena's dad and Dayton really like each other. Dayton used to run a farm and Athena's dad was just like really, his name is Manuel. He's really just into it. So they kind of had like a family connection. They didn't like each other, but they, their pit, her dad liked Dayton a lot. So yeah, this is the student lounge area. Really lovely. And then back here, I had to add some some decals, right? So I figured the students would probably come here to actually purchase their groceries. So you can see that I added lots of deco and stuff and yeah, these little freezer boxes so they could come and grab like drinks and stuff, but this is literally just where they would come to buy their groceries. And then over here in this back corner, I put a little laptop here, you know, come to the coffee shop. Then in this back corner, I just added these deco um, like food dispensers just to make it look like there's some more options for food. So this is literally the most stunning. Uh, I've never actually built a university, but if I did, this one would have been the best one. It looks so good so stunning so beautiful now so that's the cafeteria coffee groceries food food and then you go upstairs so when you are actually upstairs i think i'll be in tab mode for this you have this lovely open area you come up the stairs we have some darts we have some vending machines which is really cool and i have a custom one by xnem i think it's this coke one right here coca-cola yeah and you can get cherry coke all these dr peppers whatever and then on this one you can get um chocolate clusters white cheddar crackers crinkle cuts macadamia nut cookies and then this one same and then we also have a pool table and i just felt like there had to be a pool table <laughs> you know uh these are the washrooms i can show it to you really quick Noth nothing crazy washrooms washrooms somebody's in the washroom so or somebody's getting teleported out of the washroom one of the two this is the washroom here there's a little sign wash your hands okay wash your hands don't be nasty um okay cool and then this is my favorite part this is just a deco table right here i did want to put in like a smoothie bar and i do have that but i just kind of didn't want a lot of sims coming upstairs buying smoothies i wanted them to use the downstairs options for the cafeteria and the coffee machine or the espresso bar so for now I haven't included it but i do have a smoothie bar um, from jackie 93 sims that i was gonna put here so i just put this tray here just to kind of look you know somewhat cohesive and cool but my favorite part of this entire build is this right here and this is what you call the student center you guys look how good that looks this is it i have this uh screen the screen that you're seeing is a projector screen jackie 93 sims um the beanbag chairs i also kind of feel like are jackie 93 sims and then these are converted from uh my shuno son off of tumblr and this is just where they chill out okay the sims just chill out here they just watch movie nights they have movie nights they watch movies they watch tv they just hang right and they can play pool and eat snacks and watch tv together and then on this part <laughs> i put some like graffiti on the wall and this isn't like an urban school in any means it's a lot more of like a european academia kind of vibe but i felt like this is where they get creative this is where they do that urban that graffiti you know that kind of stuff so i put that there and then this right here is a trampoline 
I think you probably need a certain amount of body skills for it because no options becoming selectable. But I thought having a trampoline is like the oddest thing, but it's so university coded, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a trampoline here. It gives you energy. It gives you comfort somehow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think you just need like a higher body skill. So we'll use it once our Sims actually evolve. Um, and so there's a cool trampoline right here. And then over here, of course, we have some music, y'all. We can play something. Yeah, we can tell it to turn it on. And then on this side is just some games, of course. We gotta have some something to do for fun. So this is the student center, you guys. I think I killed it. I think it looks so good. We do have a third floor. And like I said, I always leave room for expansion always because you just never know and i'm not going to rebuild things so <laughs> aesthetically it looks good on the outside with that like concrete on top and the moss it looks so good literally like i'm obsessed okay everybody come down here get some food to eat you can see they're actually like getting the food oh they're gonna sit together this is so cute because dayton has a desire to be friends with patrick oh that's so sweet you guys look how cute this is are you kidding me oh my gosh Oh, I paused the game. I thought it crashed. Oh my gosh, I was about to freak out. And then we have Athena here. She ordered a um, veggie burger, which looks really good to me. Go ahead, girly. Enjoy your food. Anyone else? Okay, so she sat with Celine. Oh, this is so cute, you guys. So since I forgot to honorably mention Celine Snow, this is Celine Snow. Isn't she the most stunning sim you've ever seen? She's so beautiful. I made her and then I posted her on... Um, on Twitter and everybody was like oh my gosh beautiful stunning she she just turned out like like a dream she literally looks like a goddess like oh my gosh with the blonde hair and everything so I love Celine she's one of my favorites she is a fortune sim and her traits are she is hydrophobic she does not like the water hoodie so she's not a mermaid goddess she's another type of goddess she is an equestrian she likes horses and I am going to implement some sort of horse ranch for her and she loves the cold as well and I like that because the icy blonde hair is giving me like winter queen, you know? I love, I love, I love. So that's Celine. I'm so sorry I forgot to introduce you, girl. You're still great. Okay, you're still great. So they're all chatting. Athena is so pretty, you guys. This is Athena right here. I know we're all getting oriented, but beautiful. Look at all those Sims getting banned in the back. That's why you guys gotta use visitor controller, I'm telling you. Get all those pesky Sims that you don't want away. Get them away from here. Um. Okay, so we have some Sims eating. Celine just wrapped up. Patrick just wrapped up. I don't know what they'll do. Oh, they're gonna talk to each other. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's like, hey. No? Did you want to be his friend? She's like, yeah, I'm so excited. University, we're free. We can be who we want to be. He's like, I know, and the food's good too, honey. <laughs> like, oh, she's like, eh, I didn't really like my food today. Okay, Andrew. Athena, don't fall in love with him, okay? He has commitment issues. Isn't it him who has commitment issues? Oh, he doesn't like kids. You're a family sim, girl. Do not fall in love. Everyone has class in one hour, so they're all going to class. Okay, so that's how it works. They even go to class if they're on community lots. I've never played university, so I don't actually know how it works. This is so cool. You guys, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really cool to me. So she is walking to class. I want to take a picture. Your first day, girly. Because their majors are undeclared, they all have the same classes, which is from 3 p.m. Oh, somebody just ran in from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So they're all now heading out to their classes. Oh, you didn't eat anything, Rin? Should we just chill with Rin or should we send her to class? She's starving, but she didn't eat anything because she was enamored by these. I'm going to get rid of the vending machines, you guys, so that the push for food will be to come downstairs and eat period right yeah so rin you're starving should we just let her skip class today <laughs> i think she's gonna skip class yeah and she's gonna come down here and buy breakfast toast rin is so snazzy you guys i love so everyone else is going to class right ramona yeah tiana yeah danny you're on your way out and Rin is going to buy some food to eat. Bye, y'all. Have a good day at class. Bye. So she's sitting here and she's having some breakfast toasts. And she's like, eh, class can wait. I'm starving. <laughs> I kind of see her as someone who's like running a thrift store. I don't know. And there's all this good thrift store CC from the four to two high school years conversion. So I'm just like, I see her as someone running a thrift store. This is with Reshade on. 
<laughs> look at him in the back he's like ill something smells something stinks but girl you finish eating i think you should go to class it's your first day you at least gotta go to orientation she's like i'm late i'm late <laughs> i guess every time you go to class you meet professors this is cool okay i'm loving the diversity of the professors so we're gonna have them walk to the other lot now so let's do walk to lot please there we go walk to lot community lot they're so attracted to that vending machine i'm going to get rid of it so we also have hollis campus so let's send our sims there and i can give you a quick tour all right you all so here we are at the hollis general campus general campus this is where we just were the student comms and then when you keep going across the street or you drive through whatever you keep going and then this is where you are and if you haven't seen my building and university campus video i kind of went through the design i wanted to go with this lot it is 6 36 the sun is setting okay the sun is setting and our sims are they're gonna enjoy a nice evening together so i'll give you a quick quick tour but i think you should just watch that video to get like an in-depth tour we have some food stalls here. We have the sandwich stall where they can buy sandwiches. We have the coffee, no, the Starbucks one where they can buy their Starbucks. Um, yeah, they have some really nice area, seating area. We have the lions again, because as I told you, lions are the vibe. This is a deco building. You can't do anything with it. It's deco and it is closed off, renovated. Do not come here. Do not walk here. Keep your feet away from here. Then on this side, we have where you, this is the bus stop or, you know, where Sims load in, I guess. Um, bike rack we have club sign up and this is where the dance team does their practice so you've already kind of already seen the outside from the other video ocean ma okay um i don't have visitor controller on this lot so this lot adult sims can still come here and i just figured professors and stuff like that would be here too but if it gets annoying i will without hesitation i will make sure that that's not the case anymore so let's talk when you come inside this is the library and i'm gonna turn the light on let's be quiet so that you know <laughs> we're not disturbing the readers this is the library this is the front desk i didn't put a chair there because i didn't want anyone to actually sit here and this is a deco computer but this is the front desk and i put lots of boxes because i figured they have new textbooks ordered every day so this is hollis library when you walk straight in you're just met with the library uh, i don't know who all these people are are they students it seems like they're part of like a secret society or something. I don't know. But this is the library. Very quaint, very simple. These books are functional, so you can literally just click on the books. Like I said, they're not attached to the shelf. The shelf is from Jackie 93 Sims, and it's beautiful. I know, it's like, I'm obsessed. Um, and they can research. Apparently, they can do group research. I'm so excited to get into these Sims um, 2 uni stuff. And then, of course, we just have some small, small computers you know they can use these are monique's hacked computers so if i go to school study skills they can also study their skills here um, which is cool i really like that mm, and then of course we have college 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 write term paper and also declare major so they can do everything here so this is the building and outside this is a fountain let me press play so you can actually get a feel for it isn't it so pretty you guys I love I love stuff like this I'm really into that someone on my last video was like oh you could really be a good urbanist and I was like oh my gosh city planning and urban planning urban studies was my minor in university when I was in uni <laughs> so I'm like I'm glad that it shows I'm using my degree in sims like that's the best way to use it okay so this is the outside and I kind of went for a bit of like a Spanish still keeping that academia aristocrat vibe but a little bit more Spanish in my approach all right then this is the second floor and this is where we'll end the tour you come up to the second floor here and you have your boom bada boom your lecture hall is there a light up here or did i forget to do that i believe there's a light up here i don't know somebody is up here who's this some girl her hair is cute tracy okay tracy you cute uh yeah and this is the lecture hall and this is the opportunity pack podium and that's how i'm gonna run active careers and i'll do a video on how i do active lectures but yep this is the lecture hall i assorted the chair colors because i thought that was cool and yeah you would just come here and attend your lecture this is the final floor and it is not just for deco it is going to be a musical theater uh, this is the stage and i'm gonna put a piano here with some other instruments and this is where they will perform the orchestrations and stuff but i just didn't have the energy to do any more building because i literally built everything <laughs> and i just wanted to get into gameplay so yeah he's like waiting don't even kill me these two are like 
I'm not trying to study today. <laughs> I find this so funny. That is so cute to me. They're like, I'm not really trying to study. Like, well, study what? It's our first day of school. Like, we don't even have homework. Baby, you gotta open the syllabus, okay? That's where you know what you got to do. So they're gonna chat, that's cool. I mean, they're the only two that don't wanna do anything homeworky. These ones are out here talking. What did Rin wanna do? Oh my gosh. Athena is wasting time trying to build class performance because the class performance meter is full. To make room in the meter, Athena, have Athena build one of the required skills. Where'd you, why are you eating in here? No food allowed. Um, okay. So she needs to build skills. Okay, so you don't just research, you gotta have skills first. Right now her performance meter is not full at all. Go here and study cooking. Cooking logic and creativity. That seems to be what they all need to work on. Why don't we get some folks on the computer? These two in my old save file are cousins. I kind of want to set them as cousins again this time because I don't think they should like each other. I feel like that's really weird. Uh, if I if they were family before, like it, that's just weird to me. So I'm going to grab my Sim Blender. I can show you how I do this. Sim Blender. Let's make sure we have one of them selectable. Yeah, we have Dayton. And I'm gonna do. Uh, is it under family? or a relationship. She is Celine, set as my cousin. And then let's close the relationship out, I'll open it again, go to family, and she is his cousin. She really likes talking to Andrew. She wants to tickle him. So her and Andrew are seemingly close. Let's see if he'll like it or not. Yeah, he does. He like. They seem to like each other. Um, so let's just have them chat. None of them want to do any homework. He wants to ask her someone on a date. She also wants to go dine out somewhere. So that's interesting. I do have some community lots ready, but I haven't placed them down yet. Look at Athena, my little love bug. She's just the cutest girl. She's just the cutest girl. She's like, I'm gonna just learn how to cook. <laughs> He's serious as well. Dayton, oh, okay, our professor is on the lot. He's speaking with her. They are chatting. Okay, way to get ahead. Danny wanted to talk to the professor as well, so why don't we have him come out here and do that? Dayton is getting ahead. He's like, I don't want to do my homework, but I'll talk to the professor. The professor is beautiful as well. Like, Patrick really, really likes Dayton. These two guys are like bros. All they've done is just talk to each other. That's crazy. Rin is sitting down and she's just like, um, oh my gosh, Danny is running outside to talk to the professor. That's crazy. Rin is like, I don't really feel like doing homework. Okay, he just bought a sandwich. Did you talk to the professor at all? But why don't we go home now and everyone can figure themselves out. So let's go walk to lot home. I love having these community lots as like active um, campuses. Oh, she's reading. Okay, period. Rin, proud of you. She's just reading, but hey, that's a start. And she wants to write her term paper. So you do want to like do stuff. You were just hungry or bored cool i think they're all kind of tired from class and they want to eat and take their showers and kind of get to know each other more so it seems she wants to meet her professor though i like that oh andrew you're enjoying receiving friendly hugs okay why don't you talk with her a little bit you can also tell her a little joke Celine, do you like him uh, not really she's like getting to know everybody <laughs> don't don't pressure me she doesn't like the water funny because i think he loves swimming yeah he loves to swim that's so funny ramona you're cooking something and you didn't burn down the house well you haven't put on the stove yet i'm still proud of you take some initiative we love to see it so she is cooking up a storm in here i love this kitchen i think it looks so tray chic i love it it is fall time so you know you need something a bit warm I think let's see Ramona's uh oh her and Celine became friends okay very cool oh you burnt it she does like daddy okay she does like data to see I, I told you guys in my other let's play they fell in love like quick oh she served it though I love that you know a lot of these sims they just make a meal they don't serve it so hey sh that burnt soup that's what we're eating everyone okay because none of you guys took initiative to cook except our girl Ramona right here Rin what are you up to <laughs> Rin is like, wake me up when the food is ready. <laughs> Students are waking up and coming to get some food. Rin, wake up. I'm sure she can smell the soup. Oh, he's waiting for food as well. 
he's like oh remote oh my gosh why are his pants invisible why are his pants invisible you guys so everybody's just gonna come and enjoy some bird soup together because sometimes it'd be like that and i like how they're all just like piling in naturally should they take turns cooking oh she decided to sit beside dayton y'all she decided to sit beside him patrick you're rude did you see patrick holding his nose okay she wanted to paint that's cool that could be your thing athena are you eating oh dayton you're cleaning up after everybody you're so nice oh you only cleaned up after you and ramona <laughs> he's claiming steaks on ramona so they're all chatting ramona you're done you're still kind of hungry though but she's heading to bed good night they all have rooms and their rooms are locked so nobody can just randomly come into their room you're doing pretty good though your mood's pretty good that was really fun shout out to ramona for cooking some burnt soup she was the only one who made took some initiative to serve a meal so i mean hey look at him he's so cute okay look at danny danny said i'm i'm asleep y'all <laughs> it's been a day dated you're going to sleep now too love that patrick will probably go to sleep andrew what are you doing andrew's been talking with the ladies a lot he wants to talk a lot about his major as well i think he's going through some sort of identity crisis because he's like bro i don't even know why you're trying to hug me right now the things i'm thinking about you don't even know yeah you don't want to stink up all the dorms and he's starving he didn't even get any soup so he's going through a lot right now <laughs> he's going through a lot tiana are you going to sleep yeah tiana is out like a light light night why don't we just change this to the yummy channel so you can actually learn how to cook because that's one of her needs right now i do think next episode will probably determine our major i think so so that everyone can know what skills they need to build type of thing okay, so this is her room she's all by herself she has the biggest room and she's by herself um yeah and she forgot to turn off the tv as well so good night Danny is cooking and he's about to like pass out from starvation but we're trying to get him you know fed so Danny is awake and he's probably just thinking about his university life he's like I gotta make my parents proud but I also want to be really successful really similar to the dilemma that Kukwa faced when she finished university and moved to the city and she was like I want to live for myself like I don't want to be under my parents you know rule and wrath I want to live for myself I think Danny's also kind of thinking the same it seems like he wants to pursue something to do with music or the arts and i think he will but we'll see um yeah so he's gonna have his mac <laughs> him in his robe <laughs> the sims walking like this is so funny to me i don't know where he's about to go eat not in that dining room he said i'm not eating there all by myself <laughs> Amy started her period rin. Okay, he's gonna eat down here. That's cool. So you guys, I'm gonna leave you right here with Danny having his mac and cheese at midnight. Midnight mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese, okay? And he's gonna boost up that hunger. And I will see you all in my next episode. I hope that you all really enjoyed. This was so much fun. Hollis is birthed. Hollis is alive and well. There are some tweaks I need to make as we all have established, but I think it's a, we're off to a good start. I think I'm so excited. So with that being said, welcome to Hollis Academy and I'll talk to you all really soon. Take care. Bye.